Seeing those showers bubble up, wintry over higher ground as we head through the day. Real chill in the air with these winds coming down from the north it means highs of eight or nine degrees in the winds are feeling much colder. Have a good day. Yeah, that is the forecast that we woke to. It's an absolute freak week in terms of weather. It's, uh, would you believe, we're in May and it's forecast snow. I'm about to make my way to Peebles Golf Course. We've been staying this uh, Tontine Hotel in Peebles, which is a seems to be uh, a really nice little market town and we'll have a look around there later um, but we're making our way for an 11 a.m. tea time on the hope that we don't get snow in May Uh, I've been 94 in September. Wow. And how long have you been a member at um, a People's Golf Course? Oh, I joined about 1982 when I came up from England right. in 81. Yes. And uh, I've been here playing since 82. And what, what are your thoughts on the golf course? Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. When it was a an old hut that we went, well, an old hut, uh, before we got these lovely premises. <clears throat> it was still very friendly. You had little cubicles and it was there. Uh, it's a nice new clubhouse you have now. Oh, it's super. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Very nice. And, and um, when you think of somebody like me who's looking out on the rain now and uh, you've already been out this morning in this bit, Rather unusual weather for this time of year. Quite, what, quite. What, what, what advice do you have? Do you think I should just get on out there? <laughs> I think you would have to be windproof and waterproof. How good is it to hear from people like Jim? Incredible, 93 years old, goes out twice a week. And there'll be another story from Jim a bit later on, on how his group of friends uh, help support the juniors of this club. Amazing. But the rain has stopped. It was a short delay. It's not quite the sun shining, but we've got some moody skies behind us and you can see some dramatic backdrops already We're on the fourth tee. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one. We finally get out. How good is that? So, so you play, how often do you play then? Oh, I only play twice a week now. Only twice a week? <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. I've got something called CPD. Right. I don't know what it is, but it's a, a lung infection right. that doesn't get any better. But I just take a little puff of my, my medicine yes. and it helps me along. Yeah, yeah. And you've been, you've been out again this morning? Yeah, well, I've played nine, but uh, on the buggy. And I'm playing in this competition, so I wouldn't think I won the golf ball this morning. But, no, no. Uh, <laughs> but you still enjoyed it? Yeah, yes, yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. And um, any uh, memories of the golf course you'd want to share with us uh, over those 40 years? Anything that stands out in particular? <clears throat> well, if you take a look at the stairs, but I, I, you'll see that I won a competition 
in the centenary year. That's my only claim to fame. Well, that's not a bad one, is it? <laughs> Fantastic. So your name's well, on the honours board? Name is on the board. Fantastic. And uh, it's a lovely cup. It's, I think it's the nicest one in the club. So the nicest one to win? <laughs> yes, yes. And, and uh, when, we, when we go out on the course, hopefully uh, when, when that rain stops in, a, in, uh, in an hour or so, uh, where are the sort of, uh, what's the nicest holes that we should look out for? I think without doubt the most uh, beautiful is the, the top one, <clears throat> the top one, Kokani. Yes. That's the most beautiful view. Yes, it is. I'll look forward to that. You can see down the, the valley. Yes. On a nice day. Well, look, thank you for having a little chat on our That's camera. That's all right. It's uh, a pleasure. I, 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 I look forward to many more years out on the fairways for you. Thank you, you very much. If you keep playing nine holes with my friends and that that's the important thing the coffee and the friends at peebles we're we very welcoming club Right, as we sit and uh, wait for another rain shower, I hope it's a shower anyway to pass over, I think I'll hand you back over to Jim and uh, let him tell you about what they do in terms of their seniors group and how they support the up and coming youngsters at Peebles Golf Club. About nine or ten of us started way back in 1984, I think, we started. So we've been running it just <clears throat> as a little uh, Thursday morning meeting. Nice. And it was, yes. And it's been going very well. Uh, we used to play for uh, the odd copper or two, but uh, we stopped that. And we've gone quite professional. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh, uh, play, we got a golf ball now if we win. Oh. And uh, our, I suppose our claim to fame within the club is we give them about £300 off that pound there's enough surplus to give to the boys and girls to start them up and give them lessons oh, That's fantastic uh, It's yeah, very good thing, yeah. uh, It's nice, yeah. nice atmosphere There's about 40 of us now Well, you don't have to be in the Highlands to see Highland cows. We've got three sat there in the field. I just think they're uh, amazing animal, you know. As most of you will know, there's uh, a figurehead of one of them in my, uh, not a real one, of course, in my, uh, in my room back at home, or our office. How good are they? Beasts. Well, it's such a challenge today. Uh, I, I really feel sorry for people's golf course because uh, we're trying to do our best to show it off, but the rain's come down again and uh, 
even that backdrop that you can see now, literally five minutes ago, we could see the tops of those mountains, snow on them. You've probably seen already some shots that we've put over, but right at the minute, it looks like a scene from Lord of the Rings. It looks like Mordor or something. It's so dark and I better get under some cover, I think. I think sometimes you just gotta accept your face and have a fake square crisp from Marks and Spencer's. Our accommodation was on Peebles High Street at the Tontine and just five minutes drive to the first tea. A great place to stay and wait to breakfast with views of the mountains and the river. Right, we're going to try a little creative one. Bump and run over this little brow. It's a lovely green complex. Loving this. And up and go and go. Go on then. I love those type of shots, but again, probably can't see from back there. Uh, the way this green moves, I can imagine they can have a couple of, a bit of fun with some different pin positions. The good news is the rain has stopped and uh, how long for, I don't know, because at the back of the camera, it's looking quite dark. But for the time being, we're back out on Peebles and we'll do our best to show this place off. The views are incredible. I just wished it was a clear day. Oh, a really nice par three um, up on well, it's hole 12. I think it's playing about 170 off the whites. Uh, little brook weaves its way through on the left. Hopefully we shouldn't, uh, that shouldn't trouble us. If it does have it a bit of a stinker. Um, my tea's broke. Nothing's going right today. I'll tell you what would be good. Hole in one with a camera on. That'd change things up a bit, wouldn't it? What a nice little par three. The green doesn't look particularly big. Slightly uphill. I'm going to try and hit a six iron. It's a great strike. I think it's hard to the green, is it? Sit down. Yeah. It was a great club. Perfect distance. And a great little par three, like I said. Well, the bad news is the rain is back already. The good news is I'm about to hold this for birdie. Or not. Ah, oh, dear me. The rain didn't stay away for long. Right, we are, uh, we're at the highest point. 14 and 15 should be a time right now where I'm filming some amazing drone footage and you're seeing these uh, backdrops, crazy backdrops, but we ain't, I'm afraid, and uh, well, I don't really know why I'm carrying on. I'm just uh, doing my best to, uh, to show you as much as I can whilst I get wet in the process. This would be absolutely spectacular, and you'll have to take my word for it. The big deal, every golf club looks better when the sun is shining, there's no doubt about it, but at a golf course like this, when the views are, are, are what they are, then it's, it's even more disappointing that we can't show them, um, because as I keep saying, I've used the word spectacular enough. My hands are also freezing. But let's see if we can get a drive down there. I'm determined to finish. Oh, and let's drive for the day. Why haven't we got a shot where the ball's flying into the mountain and we can pick it up instead of these rainy white skies right it's early on the uh well it's actually a friday morning it's just past 7 a.m and uh, i decided that inspired by jim if he can get out of here twice a week and play nine holes at 93 years of age then i can make a bit of an effort to try and show you people's golf club uh well in a bit better light it's not perfect but i'm gonna get the drone up and just show you what the views were i was talking about yesterday when unfortunately we didn't quite get finished as the heavens still open, but I still enjoyed my day here. And then we'll finish off with a little bit of a look, hopefully, of uh, that view over there. 